In this video, we discuss solvency risk. The long-term solvency risk highlights a company's ability to meet its long-term financial obligation. So according to this definition, we can define the debt ratio, okay, which is the ratio between liabilities and uh, assets, or liabilities to the equity. So the greater debt ratio means a company takes on too much debt. In other words, the greater debt ratio indicates the greater insolvency. Because long-term debt is not going to be due in a short time. Some, some long-term debt could be due in 10 years or 20 years. So it is not as urgent as uh, current liability. But the interest payment is required periodically. So another way to investigate solvency risk is interest coverage ratio. So that's a ratio uh, we use an interest expense or interest payment to divide it other variables. So the greater interest coverage ratio indicates the company is solvent. Okay. Interest cover ratio is defined uh, either net income based or cash flow based. Basically, they are uh, very similar. So, uh, solvency risk highlights the long term financial obligation. Uh, it is also related. To the liquidity risk. Although uh, long-term debt is not going to be due in the short time, but uh, long-term will become short-term sooner or later. Right, so long-term debt will become current li liabilities uh, sooner or later. So that's the relation between solvency risk and the liquidity risk. Because uh, solvency risk highlights long-term debt, so solvency risk is not as urgent as liquidity risk. So if the company has a liquidity problem, you know the liquidity problem will kill the company. For the solvency risk, the company still have time. You know some debt is going to be due in ten years, so the uh, management still have time to seek for other funds. For example, borrow new debt to retire the old debt, or to sell their assets, long-term assets. So they still have time and the flexibilities to overcome the solvency risk.